Hey everybody, I'm back with a really easy, fun tutorial for, I'm just going to deem it like a winter tutorial because it does involve two different color blues. Um, you can wear this anytime during the winter, you can wear it even in summer or spring because you can use bright colors during then. Also, I just kind of got inspired by like the cold and icicles and all that stuff, so I wanted to use some blue. Also, you could wear this for a kind of more of a neutral look for New Year's if you don't want to go super crazy smoky eye or anything. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to see how I got this eye look, then just keep watching. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a fluffy blending brush and we're using the Naked One palette and you're going to use the color Naked. And you're just going to put it all in your crease and a little bit above the crease, just depending on your eye shape. However you do kind of your transition or blending color, that's where this color is going to go. So I'm just going to kind of use windshield wiper motions going um, across and just blending it all out using it as transition. I'm just adding a little bit more. I go in the crease and a little bit above the crease just because that is what I've found to work best on my eyes. And then we're going to take a smaller blending brush and we're going to use the color Buck in the Naked One palette. And you're just going to apply this in the crease as well. Um, just kind of giving more depth to the crease and also just making that transition color just a little bit darker. Um, and I'm going in the crease and also a little bit above the crease, um, just in windshield wiper motions as well. So just keep blending that out, just like that. Voila. And I kind of go above. I add a little bit more color just to above because I noticed it was missing a little bit. And then after that, we're going to take the... Um, elf glitter glue which this is super similar to the Too Faced um, glitter glue shadow insurance it just holds on glitter or really glittery shadows which we are going to use and you're just going to apply this with your finger all over your lid it is tacky um, so it helps the glitter really stick to it and it's only a dollar so highly recommend this way 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 cheaper than the Too Faced one it's incredible and then we're just gonna take um, Sidecar which is our super glittery shimmery shadow and we're applying this all over the lid um, sometimes it does take a couple of coats just because that um, glitter primer stuff is very tacky and so it really adheres right to it so I'm taking a flat shader brush um, I just I don't even know what brush this is, but I'm just applying that all over the lid, just getting the intensity built up. And then I'm just going to take a blending brush and just smooth it out a little bit, just because you can get a little harsh line between the crease and the lid color. So you just want to blend that out just to make sure it all goes together. And then I'm going to take that same blending brush and we're going to use Hustle from the Naked One, which is a really cool purple color. And we're just going to apply a little bit to the outside um, of the outer V and then also in the crease. And if you're like me, you'll go a little bit above the crease as well. So you're just still using the same motions, a little circle, a little windshield wiper, and just blend it all out. Just to give a little bit more definition um, to the outer V and to the crease as well as a little pop of purple. And then I'm just taking a blending brush and making sure that that blends all together well. So blend it out. And if you mess up, you can just use your finger like I did. <laughs> and then we're going to take the L'Oreal Infallible in, I think it's Iced Latte. And I'm just using a flat shader brush and I'm just applying this to the inner part of my eyelid as well as the middle just because this is a lighter color so it's going to really give that um, reflective light and that brush is really pissing me off so pretty soon you're going to see me switch to the other brush and I hold it really really funky but right there and this just helps pack it on a little bit more because it wasn't giving me as much color as I wanted but just make sure you apply it to the um, basically inner one third and right on your eyeball in the middle just for that added um, brightness and then I just blend it out again 
And then we're taking the NYX, um, this is eyeliner, it's glitter liner, I don't know the name of it, but it's in like a really cool teal color. I'll list it all below, but you're just going to put that on your, um, bottom lash line. And this is really hard to do on camera, that's why I like look like I'm going super slow in this frame, but that's okay. So you're just going to apply that on the lower lash line just to give that fun bright blue color. And then we're going to take its piece from the Urban Decay. It's one of the Urban Decay palettes. I can't remember the name of it. I'll list it down below. Just on a pencil brush and I'm just putting that right over it. As you can see, it gets really intense with that shadow on top. Um, that's why I used it to help bring out that color more. And then we're going to take Wet n Wild Liquid Liner in blue. And I do only a part of this on camera because I cannot do my eyeliner or my mascara on camera. It is ridiculous. So I'll just give you a clip of what I'm kind of doing. I'm just doing a basic liquid liner and I'm going to put a wing on it as well. And I'm doing this off camera in about one second. Wabam! Then I'm going to use some mascara. I use like three different mascaras, but this is the first one. And I'm doing this off camera as well. And we're all done. And then we're putting some blush on. This is Max Stereo Rose. Love this color. And then that is your final look. And you are all set. I hope you guys really enjoyed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, super easy and fun for winter. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you like um, makeup tutorials, then definitely give this a thumbs up. But as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See ya! Bye!